What is going on guys? My name is Rami back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode of reaction to Promise Neverland. This is not the Promise Neverland. I saw oh my god. I was just talking about the Promise Neverland with my roommates, that's why. <laughs> this is the Rise of the Shield Hero, episode 15. Great start already. Drinking coffee, still trying to wake up, okay. Um this is gonna be episode 15 of Raftalia, and I am making sure I am recording. Um uh, yeah, so oh, hold on. Give me a second. I think I pre hold on. And boom. Alright. Okay, cool. Sorry. <laughs> I, I had, um, uh, seeking. But yeah, this is going to be the Rough Talia backstory. You might be able to hear music in the very, very background. It's going to be really low. Um, in fact, most of the background noise that you hear up here from my computer will probably actually slightly drown it out. Um, but it, it's something so you guys can still hear a little bit. And you're gonna have to, I had to be really quiet. And I do know that a lot of, some people have been pointing out that I like to do that with my lips do apologize unfortunately it just kind of like a nerd it's just like a habit it's kind of just something i do don't really even realize it until i like re watch my reaction i uh, parts and i'm just like oh shit i do that a lot but it is what it is if i could add sound completely i would but i can't so i'm doing this as much as i can but anyways guys this is going to be episode 15 libra of talia and we're a little over past the halfway mark, so I think this is going to be a good story. We're going to be getting more on her backstory and uh, all that jazz. Uh, but yeah, let me actually decrease my, make it a little bit light, less light because it's a little bright. My uh, my little uh, um, lightning effect right here. But anyways, guys, I'm ready to jump into this episode. So guys, without further ado, let's jump in to episode 15 of the Rise of the Shield Series. Starting in three, two, one, let's jam. <sighs> you will. A romantic love. Refunna. Oh shit. And then that's when the wave happened. Like I said, I really do hope. All right, so I actually turned off the sound because it was. I felt like it was probably gonna be a little bit too much. Um, because it was showing that it was actually picking up a little bit more than I wanted to. So I actually turned off the sound. Um, but I increased it so maybe could actually hear it. I'll try to get as close as I can to my microphone without being too loud. Let me actually drop my uh, microphone levels just slightly so I'm not. <laughs> it doesn't sound like I'm screaming into the microphone, but. I'm really hoping that they don't give the whole, oh, I forgive you kind of thing. And I just realized, like, it showed Rifana, um, and, oh, man, what's that guy's name? Pobar? P it starts with an R. Robel? Something like that. I also heard that we're also going to be getting Melties, Maltese, um, sorry, I'm like totally like, just like entranced in that opening. He's so defending himself.
and feeling don't stop her probably not but it, I'd Oh, I think his name was Penbar, I think. Was it Penbar? That's not true. You're just killing him. It would be different. What you should do is torture the fuck out of him. This, uh, this, the mana sword. Where's the other guys? Like, where's Shield Hero? Yeah, that's not gonna kill him. Wait, really? Did they, is he actually dead? Is he actually dead? feeling that guy's not dead. It seems too... It seems too... Too subtle of a death, I feel like. That's why I don't think that he died. She's, she was so positive as a little kid. Right after her parents died, too. She actually inspired hope. But then, of course, that's probably when that... Very interesting thing to say. <laughs> Imperial. So that other dude was left behind, but those two were taken. This soundtrack is very unnerving. It's very un unnerving, like, sounds. It actually gave me, like, slight chills on my arms listening to that.
I mean, I'm guessing her friend's dead. Because she's not screaming. No. See, people like that deserve to die. Like, there is no such thing as mercy for someone like that. You treat them horribly. Because you need to be that karma. You need to be the one to deliver the karma, not just to let him have, let karma do its thing. No, you are the karma. See, maybe it's, it, like, I have a slight sadistic side when it comes to that shit. Like, it, whenever I see that, it makes me want to, like, I want them to feel that pain and experience it tenfold. And even then, if you think about it, it wouldn't even come close to the amount of pain he brought upon others. So you do the worst, and the worst, and the worst. And basically, in my opinion, you would torture him to death. Of course, I wouldn't imagine Raftalia doing it. Maybe get someone else to do it. And I'm assuming that she passed, she died enduring, and that would have gotten me. Oh, so... But you can't. I wonder how long she was with the slave before before Nalfumi showed up. The slave trader. Okay, it's under. Oh, there's more. I'm pretty sure, like, one of them are gonna at least talk. Every time, every time she says there's someone over here, she's gonna get her hopes. Oh, uh, is it her? No. Oh, that's him.
There she is, she's finally cry she's finally crying again. The one thing is that she would really wish for to, to meet up with the shield hero and sure enough. <laughs> I'm guessing he's gonna be the one to drop the bombshell that she unfortunately is. She's still stuck in there. Damn, I gotta admit, that's. You can hear almost like the agony. Oh, that's. That's. Brutal. Okay, now that's just. That actually is. How long was she gone, though? Unless. Because it takes a long time for a complete body to decompose. I know I'm looking into this way too much, but... You couldn't do anything. You were and still literally are a kid. Eh, he didn't. He, he fell. He fell. I still don't think he's dead, though. I didn't see the body. Plus, you got a double tap. Throw a boulder on him. It is true.
can't tell. I know if the, I'm I'm listening to the music, it almost sounds Celtic. Almost. It might be Celtic, but I might be completely wrong. I know I'm focusing on the wrong thing, but I mean I'm I, I can do both. This was a very somber episode. But that she was able to send her off. Yeah, it is a good question what was happening during the entire time. an obelisk I knew it I knew it you didn't I didn't see the body Nani the fuck It's a fucking dragon. You're gonna die. Now you're dead. See? It's a tar- is that a tar- is that a fucking T-Rex? Why the fuck is it a T-Rex? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna guess what the next episode's title is gonna be. Monster. Or The Monster. So... Did you have to be like higher of a higher standing to be able to summon this thing, or can just anyone be like, "Oh yeah, oh merciful God, smite this un <laughs> this demon"? <laughs> I don't know. Um, <sighs> I do apologize for yawning so much. My body's tired, but yeah. The, yeah, but this was definitely a somber, like. I was not expecting literal bones remain as a remains. It was actually kind of chilling seeing that. Let me see what's the next episode. Oh, Philolial Queen. Huh. Are we gonna see like the queen of Philo's race? Kind, kind. That's a that's a better <laughs> that's a better word. All right, I'm gonna go wrap this up. Um. I 
yeah, this was definitely a very somber episode, and we got to see more of Ralph Talia's backstory, but it was mostly her interactions with her friend, not less about her actual upbringing. Although, honestly, it seems like her upbringing was the only thing that, there wasn't really much of any significance of her upbringing outside of the part where her the wave occurred and she lost her family. But I am curious, though, from the time that she left and was sold to the slave trader. How long was that? How long was she in the slave trader's whole, um, hands? And how long has she been with the shield hero? Because think about it. When we saw her remains, was she she left to go to the slave trader, um, and that was the last time she saw her friend. And by the next time she saw her friend, it was literally bones. Bones and the, um, and clothes. It takes a long time for a body to decompose to that state. Like, takes almost couple of years. Granted, I don't know, maybe in this world, um, or the demi-human species in general, maybe their bodies deteriorate at a much, much quicker rate. But, I guess I'm nitpicking, but at the same time, it's also showing that that person's, the, the body, the girl was there for a long, 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 long time and wasn't even moved. So, let's just say, um, I'm guessing she put the remains in that bag so she could maybe either bury them or ignite them um or cremate cremate the re the remaining remains so we'll see what happens but i'm actually curious of why the fuck there was a t-rex <laughs> an armored t-rex because yeah that, that was a pretty that was basically an armored t-rex but yeah, anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching <sighs> i'm probably gonna go take a nap um I was gonna go play Persona 5, uh, on, well, play Super Smash Brothers and play Joker, but it doesn't release until, like, seven more hours, so I can take a nap. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Well, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below of what this, of how you felt about this episode. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. See ya.